Hello guys and welcome to the third episode of our Hantawari uh, Let's Play here in E4 with the Mayo and Taxes mod. In the previous episode we went ahead and did ourselves some excellent annexation over in the Shan Hills. Uh, and I have currently decided not to turn it into a state because it's all very tribal which implies that it's basically completely autonomous and as a result it barely makes us any money might be able to convert it into useful land at some point. I mean, we are currently doing that over in Cayenne. We were, anyways. Yeah, tribal settlement. Um, I'm not sure how much, uh, like how big of a percentage the tribes need to be before they convert to, uh, you know, another estate that's more useful, like nobles or burghers. Um, but if I really wanted to, I'm sure I could... Oh, look at this! There's tribal settlement here as well. Uh, excellent. Tribal settlement... Yeah, tribal... Yeah, the tribals are settling all over the place, it seems. Bloody but brilliant. Um, for now, they are still very, very tribal. Actually, no, I mean, this province is less tribal than this one. Huh, I should... I should go figure... Yeah, fuck, why, what? There's urban goods in this province? What? How big is this city? Uh, da population. There is a urban pop of 3,000. Okay, well, I guess that's enough to get uh, mundane goods. Yeah, well, okay, there's already cloth over here. And this one just has mundane though, but that could be good because that means we get to choose our own goods, I think. Anyways, uh, we're currently planning an invasion of Tanggu. Uh, they're a tributary of uh, China, but so are we. So, you know, it works out. Well, it doesn't work out. We basically, like, all our money is going to China right now. But the hope is that we're eventually going to be able to break free. Um, but before I do that, I want to conquer all the things that are currently tributaries of China. Uh, which is like most of Southeast Asia. But once we deal with a lot of this stuff. Hopefully we can break free without the Chinese being too salty about it. Yeah, the Chinese did have some issues. The Ming... Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna call them Chinese because it's easier. Well, not necessarily, but I don't know. Is it that important? No. Um, the Chinese had a fuck ton of rebels, animist rebels, and uh, they didn't really achieve that much. But the one thing they did achieve in terms of state building anyways is that they created the nation of Lingnan. Which is a Hmong state. Is it a Hmong state or is it just accepted? No, Zhuang is the primary culture. But I think that's like one of these spicy cultures. Zhuang, yeah. It's like uh, it's not a it's not in the actual Chinese group, it's one of these like other groups. Uh, which presumably I assume anyways, to some extent they might be related to the Southeast Asian groups, because a lot of the Southeast Asian groups are descendant from the, um, uh, you know, people who originally lived in China. I mean, that that's standard in history. Um, whenever people who are more advanced are more advanced, they have a tendency to migrate into areas that are not advanced and take over. The main, th I mean, I'm not talking advanced advanced, I'm talking like basic knowledge, like farming and stuff like that. It's like, it's if you Google a map of like ethnic groups in Africa, you'll, no you'll notice that a right proper fuck ton of groups are Bantu. It's the same concept, you know, the Bantus figured out how to farm, or presumably learned it from other people, like the vast, vast, vast majority of people did. Um, and then they migrated and took over our fuck ton of land. But let's not talk about the African Bantus. We're kind of not, yeah, we don't even know if Africa exists. So we should probably not think too hard about that. Yeah, I want to invade Tangu. Uh, we do have some overextension, but it's not that bad. We, yeah, we're about to get even less as well. Yeah, the the, the main province, Manipur here, is about to be cored. Yeah, Manipur, I actually made it into a company province. We could also remove it. And the penalty is not that actually that bad because it's very temporary. So we might do that at some point. I'm just going to keep it as a company province right now because I don't really feel like killing off a bunch of rebels. Uh, if if you're fucking close to being able to core this province as well. I would really like to core the province before grabbing myself any more overextension. But in order to do it, I might want another point of stability. 
Uh, which, now nah, we're not, not quite there. I, I don't know. Is it worth it to buy a temporary advisor? Fuck, we don't even have the option, do we? No, no, there's... Well, no, there's this guy, but he's expensive. I don't want to pay that much money. What the hell? That's insane. No, well, I guess we're not doing that then. Then again, it, it barely impacts our overextension. It's like, yeah, it's 1%. It's it's fine. Surely we can endure. So I might just want to invade then. I'm hoping for one more claim though before we go have some fun. They've allied Sai Gyang, but uh, Tagu here has barely has an army, so we should be able to relatively easily defeat them. Gonna have to go all the way down to this province though, because you can only cross the river at a certain point. And I think this river crossing goes to this province. Um, not entirely sure. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, here comes the fucking Chinese again. Fuck off. Jesus Christ. Famous monastery. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure about this. It, it says that Yavgue will get a powerful monastery, but it doesn't tell me anything about the penalties for this. But it says that monasticism can decline. But I have absolutely no idea what monasticism is. Like, I guess I could make a general guess in terms of real life, but I have no idea what it implies in this game. Kingdom, da, 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 respectable core, development, timber supplier, successful bureaucracy, but there's nothing here relating to monasticism, you know? Is it this, like, a province I should care about? Yangwe? Does that, do, do, do I matter? Does that matter? A decent bit of pop there, actually. Yeah, it's by far the best province in this place. Shit. A lot of stuff. Ah! Ask the monks for a blessing. Let's see what it does. Let's see if, like, whenever we get a pop-up about our monasticism going to shit, we will know that we've done something wrong. Did you move your fucking army, you... You sneaky little meme lord. Yeah, we should have enough uh, memes now to fabricate another claim. Let's see, I have quite a bit of claims already. Uh, what would I want? I think maybe even the capital would be useful because that would kind of split them in two. Uh, whether we can even ask for that much land in one war, that is another question. Can't annex them fully. And we already have a decent, we well, no, well, we had a decent bit of aggressive expansion, but it doesn't look like we have that anymore. So I guess things work out then. Yeah, Tungao will have that. Thank you. Please keep, keep, keep. Give me land. All right, uh, we gotta. Oh fuck! No, the Bengalis have become hostile. Nah, really, bro. He was. He liked me. What happened, man? That's a shame. Oh, well, boost relations and pray. Yeah, because I can't. I, I really can't handle a Bengalis invasion right now. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah, maybe we should keep the monkey people here as a buffer state. Um, I mean, I can take a yeah, I can take these two provinces from them, but we might let them have these two as a buffer. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh, let us invade. All right, I'm feeling ready to invade. They keep <laughs> they keep moving their army back and forth just to piss me off. Um, but we should be able to catch them now. I think. So we'll have ourselves a, an excellent invasion. Tsukutai will even join. Ah, Tsukutai, that's nice of you. Do I want to call you in though? It almost seems like a waste of... Nah, actually you, you stay out of this one, I think. Could make Sai Gyang a co-belligerent. I don't think we're going to do that because I'm going to annex him later, I think. Because uh, we're going to get more than enough wars, uh, you know, overextension and bullshit from this stuff. So I think that would be a bit of a waste. Um, so yeah, let's go for the province of Meitlaga. Uh, it doesn't matter that much. So let's just do that. And then immediately march on his army, see if we can get there in time before he runs off. He's not even running, he's just sort of hanging out. Uh, we'll heavily restrict looting because I this is my future land, so I don't need it to be destroyed. That would be, you know, a bit of an unfortunate situation. Uh, let's march up here and kill whatever this is. Oh, wait, what? Oh, well, wait, no, you're going... Where are you? Where are you even standing? I guess it's just able to 
run away. I would assume he's running up to his ally. But we should... yeah, no. Oh, okay, that's decent army. Yeah, well, we're killing off some of his forces before they're able to join the fight, though. Which is, like, the whole point. So we'll work on doing that. Um, so this army will run away. And run further. Yeah, our army's actually really small. Uh, so, I don't know. Might want to call up the tribes again. Sure, let's do that. Um, we... They actually have a lot of wealth. Let's do partial support. Hopefully that'll be sufficient. Alright, so we should be able to... Yes, we did win that battle. He did survive though, which is bad. But that's life, I guess. Yeah, we really need that tribal support, I think. It's going to be quite relevant. Honestly, I'm surprised at how many troops they were able to raise. I mean, they kept spamming units left and right and this is the newest spam but I've killed them all you know with my glorious discipline uh, yeah they, they haven't been able to like I've always caught their armies before they were able to uh, hey tribes hey tribes yeah I was able to c catch their armies before they were able to unify into a force I mean had they actually been able to mobilize fully or quote-unquote mobilize uh, they actually presumably would have had more troops than I did but uh, but no, I have also recruited another unit because, you know, my force limit t told me I was allowed to do that, so I said why not. Alright, I'm going to separate piece out this dude, war operations and all your money. Uh, stop your alliance with this guy and this guy. You can stay my rival though, that's nice enough. So yep. Put it into that, marriage to fuck you. Holy shit, that's an insane amount of aggressive expansion we're going to get here. Well, as long as Ayathaya does not join, I think we'll be fine. I don't really fear any of these meme lords. Wang Zhang is a bit unfortunate, but it's... Yeah, it's 51, so he should hopefully be fine. Yes, we're going to split the nation in three. I was going to just do two, but if I do this, everyone will, will, will be salty. Yeah, we're not doing that. Uh, so we'll leave it at this. We'll fuck them up, you know, get the river crossings under our control, which should, should improve uh, communication efficiency and stuff like that. Take their money. Uh, give up your claims, I guess. Why not? And that seems to be it. Uh, send to the mount and pray. Oh, shit. The ruler is dead. Right. Then again, our heir is actually a god. Razadir is truly blessed. Holy shit, he is. We now have uncertain succession, that's not good. Lose stability, no we're not doing that, we're gonna get some legitimacy instead, which brings us up to 100, that's excellent. Looks like we can even keep it. Yeah, holy shit, we're super legitimate. Yeah, awesome. There's no coalition yet either, and our territory is a proper mess. It so pisses me off that this this random province is, uh, is, um, my color for some reason. I don't know why it's like that, but it is, so. Because, like, I, I don't want these territories because I don't want to border China. Um, so it's going to be like this for a while. A really long time, so that's a bit unfortunate, but, eh, well. Alright, so the Burmese are raiding me again, so we're going to have to put an end to that. Yeah, I guess these are just events to allow Tangu to be powerful. I think Tangu was like an empire builder in the his, you know, historically. Um, so I guess that's why that's a thing. Ooh, Lana, that could escalate. Oh shit, there's Long Zhang. Fuck. And here comes the lesser nobles demanding uh, stuff. Average autonomy in every province owned by this estate. It will not actually give me any corruption at all. Uh, oh, fuck it, I'm not gonna... Fuck, fuck you, fuck all of the nobles. Huh? The fuck is this? <laughs> what DLC was this added? Yeah. We can do hostile training. Tra tra training? Trading? Interesting. No, I just want, like... Maximize profits. Yeah, 
Fucking hell. Give, give, do I have to... No? Is it... Yeah, yeah, it's a bit different. I guess, yeah, okay, so I guess that's just the default. Okay, well, good, good, good. Alright, so we can get a, uh, a woman from Lana. Lana is... Oh, they actually like me now. Huh, that could be a nice alliance, actually. Uh, they have some land that I would like, but it's not a huge priority right now. So, yeah. Let's do that. A house of Pegu, the aristocrats, yeah, 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 whatever. Oh, really? Dagon is the seat of the queen? Fuck off. That's unfortunate, because that's like the place I want to have my capital be in. Ouch. Also, well, why is this the seat of the royal spouse when the spouse came from La Na? I don't understand. Let's get an alliance. Um, who are we? Yeah, we're... Yeah. We were approving relations with them. Let's get an alliance instead. Yeah, these guys were fighting a coalition against me. But they are out now. Yeah, it's not a lot of stuff happening right now. I'm just waiting for aggressive expansion to go down so I can invade more people. Coring the provinces we needed were... Yeah, that was easy. So, you know, we're, we've done that. I've finished economic ideas. The Chinese take all my money. Yeah, things are, things are normal, it seems. Also, yeah, Lana conquered the Shan states. So, you know. That's a thing. Ooh, man. A noble of the Vero family. Wait, is that our family? Yeah, that's our family. So we... <sighs> the, the economy. No, the economy is shit. Well, the, no, the economy is fine. It's just that the Chinese keep taking all my money. But yeah, fucking hell. 653? Fuck yeah. Awesome. Ooh, name, 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 name. Comment section. Uh, give me uh, like give me like a name tradition. It'll probably be a couple of episodes before I can start in implementing it. But I, it is well known that I am fan. I'm, I'm a big fan of like meme names. Um, although I've done the meme where you just name the ruler the same thing over and over again a lot of times. So I feel like I shouldn't be doing that again. But um, yeah, I, I don't know anything about these. Uh, Southeast Asian names. So I have no idea what's what's a good name. It would be a shame to just name it something normal. But it can't be too out there either. Eh, Razdari. Razadari. That's the one. You know. Hey, guess who just found the um, the make a state button? Go me! Let's make Central Burma a state. Uh, which will increase our profits. Excellent. And this one as well, I think. Well, I didn't actually read if it was a good thing or not, but yeah, I think, yeah, this state, yeah, this state is all this stuff, and we want this stuff definitely as a state, so. It works out. Uh, yes, course, course, course. Ooh, that's spicy and expensive, but it's fine. We can afford it. It's not like we're actually doing anything. Especially, we're not doing anything with our points. Can I get tech now? No, still 15% too expensive. Well, not too expensive, but more. it's more expensive than I care to pay for, you know. Alright, so I'm getting a bit sick of not being at war. Uh, so we're going to be invading uh, Sagyang. The actual war that I want is against Marak U, but um, I don't know, I, I'm just ever so slightly paranoid that if I declare... Oh, Sukhothai will want to join again. How nice of them. Once again, though, I don't think I necessarily want to do that, because I would prefer to use my trust to, like, gain bonuses and shit. I mean, let's see, are you in my trade node? No, you... yes, you do have one... no, that's not Lana. Yeah, Sukhothai has no things in my trade node. And I can get communication efficiency into this Delta place. Uh, even if I do not actually conquer Sukhothai. So I might actually be better off. Holy shit, we have a lot of favors. Um, yeah, let's get some trust. Yay, get that trust. We'll keep 10 just sort of hanging around. Just in case we need them, you know. Doesn't hurt, doesn't hurt us or doesn't... It, it's a good thing. Uh, we can tech up as well, finally, the, uh, yeah, we have neighbor bonus, and, yeah, all kinds of good stuff. There's no penalty to waiting a bit, we can even do another one right after that. We're not going to do that, though, even if our neighbors have done it already. Yeah, they have, but we're, no, we're not going to do that, that's a waste of points. 
Oh, ni hade lite satan kyktrit. Oh, shit, I did not mean to do administrative. Fuck me. I wanted to do move my capital, but of course we can't do that right now. Because that was a stupid dipshit and I did the technology. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm centralizing the state. I've been doing that for a while. Mainly, the thing that I'm a bit annoyed at is that I, I keep getting uh, uh, inflation. And that's a nuisance because, yeah, I'm basically I'm, I'm so decentralized right now that I keep gaining uh, inflation. Um, despite having ideas that are specifically meant to reduce that, which they do. But uh, they don't reduce it nearly enough, so uh, I keep having to invest points into it, which is fine. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, a bit of centralization never hurt anyone, except for those who are hurt by it. Uh, let's invade. Well, let's invade this place. We'll make him a co-belligerent. Uh, the reason I'm invading him directly is because he's a, a, a tributary of China. And I fear that if I invade him and then call him, call in this guy as a war dude, China will join. Ninety-three percent that will not happen. But uh, paranoia is paranoia, and you gotta, you gotta deal with it, man. You know, you gotta just endure. Holy shit, we can. Oh, really? We can do the extra option. I thought that was only available to tribal people. Uh, well, no, we'll heavily restrict it, as always. I want to actually, like, develop these provinces that I'm fucking about in. So, um... Or, you know, or keep developing. Keep developing them. Fuck. <laughs> Man, it's about time I go to bed. Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, siege down this place. I, uh, I made sure to have this fort ready, so there's a full garrison here. So the Arcanese cannot do jack shit about this war of mine. Uh, and as a result, I will invade them soon enough and put an end to... Well, not put an end to them, that would be too much. I only have two claims anyway, so it's not like I could even, even if I wanted, but, um, you know. <laughs> this is actually pretty cool. Uh, the White Elephant. Uh, we have heard reports from Ayathaya that they have obtained a rare White Elephant. These striking creatures were believed by Buddhists to be a reincarnation of a deceased king, as well as an auspicious omen. Owing one, owning one was further proof that the king was meant to rule, as well as a symbol of prestige and power. Uh, it's funny, because I, I, I just listened to two episodes of the Southeast Asia History Podcast uh, that were called The Elephant Wars. Because uh, the East Southeast Asians are quite fond of riding elephants into war. Uh, mainly because this is a tropical... I was about to say hellhole, but, you know, presumably the guys who live here are tolerant of the place. Uh, you know, and I'm, I'm fucking Norwegian, so I'm used to freezing to death in deadly mountains and fucking arctic environments so <laughs> so yeah jungle um like uh like the like the forest is nice and all even if it's well no i, I should really not argue for deforestation that would be a bit awkward i don't know uh, basically n fuck i gotta explain myself norway is one of the few countries in the world where the forests are actually growing and they grow a fuck ton, right? Because of global warming, uh, which means that Norway is getting warmer. And as a result, the forests are just spreading everywhere. Like, areas that used to be just beautiful, like, Arctic-looking plains. This is, of course, like, relatively high up, up in altitude. Like, by the coasts, the trees are dominant. But it's still, like, fucking... Honestly, it's like unsettling because it's the, the forest is so thick. Like, there's no room to move, there's no room to breathe. Fucking hell, man. Uh, I don't know. I, I have a. There's a good chance I'll rant more about how much I despise Norwegian forests later on. Well, actually, no. I enjoy I enjoy nice Norwegian forests, but I don't enjoy trees. What is they called? Pine. You know those trees that don't have leaves. They have those little sticky things instead. Fucking hell. Honestly. If there's one thing we people as citizens of the earth should unite in, it's that we need to commit genocide against those trees. Because fucking hell, what bullshit they are. They are the most 
horrible... Eh, yeah, maybe those, like, insects that create malaria are worse. But, like, second to the insects that create malaria. After those things, those fucking trees, they're up there. Uh, anyways, though, talking about unrelated shit, basically, it's kind of funny. Uh, like, I assume that when people went to war here, they didn't go to war because of white ele elephants. But, uh, you know, the kings of Burma asking for uh, a white elephant from the king of Ayutthaya was definitely used as a casus belli in history. Uh, because, like, <laughs> the king of Ayutthaya had six elephants, and this in the Burma, uh, the Burma people only had three, for example. For example, and uh, at a certain point in history, the Burmese were actually super powerful compared to the Thai. Um, so they were like, "Hey, give me elephants," and they were like, "No, fuck you. We're not going to give you elephants for the reasons that are explained here. You know, the fact that it's like a reincarnation of go of kings and shit like that, and a source of legitimacy." So we could offer to buy it, we can demand it, or we can say just fuck off, how nice for you. Um, I kind of want to see what happens if I ask to buy one. After all, Ayothaya kind of... Well, I Ayothaya actually tolerates me. It's just me that hates them because of uh, the game forcing me to have rivals. Um, let's see what they say. Come on, I'll slow fucking... Yeah, once again. You gotta thank me for editing these episodes, because this is a very slow fucking mod. Uh, are we not gonna get a reply? Like, elephants? Give me elephants? No? No elephants? Well, fuck you then. I'll invade you later and make you pay. Oh, never mind. Uh, what? Yeah, white elephant war. <laughs> Speaking of the elephant wars... They refuse to sell an elephant! Is a slap to the face! Well, diplomatic insult. Well, there you are. Right, so we're gonna be a bit spicy here. I'm actually gonna full annex Maraku, and we're gonna take this province from this person. Uh, we can ask for some money as well. Holy shit, that's a right proper fuck ton of money. Sure, let's take that. Uh, we'll get a bit of a coalition. That's fine. Uh, the real question here is how the um, is how the Bengalese will feel about this whole situation. Uh, Splits of war, sure. Yeah, let's. Yeah, I'm improving relations because I'm kind of pissing myself right now. I really want to be friends with these guys. Please like me, like, dude. We have not. We have no conflict here. Like, it's all good. Let's just be friends, please. Oh wow, did I gain manpower from this? That's odd. Huh, I don't know. Alright, so I think it's time to revoke a privilege. We actually don't have that many at all. But from what I read, it was very it was very bad privilege. It gave them like 60 or minus 60% to the tax that they would otherwise pay. So we're gonna do that. So let the salt commence. Hopefully there's not three stability, that would be truly unfortunate. Uh, they grudgingly accept, but I still lost three stability! Fucking hell, man. Ouch. So the Chinese are showing up with a bunch of Arabs. Um, and as a result, we have to fight a civil war, it looks like, basically. Yeah, that's a lot of fucking... It's uh, a lot of... Um, a lot of militancy there. I'm also currently uh, drilling my army. Uh, I saw that, I've seen a tutorial, you know, the Rayman tutorial. And it says that like the actual army drilling right here is actually kind of crap. But uh, in the long run, having actual uh, army professionalism uh, at a high level, at least over 80, so you can get um, reduced... Okay, maybe that one was not so good. Oh, they've changed things from one what I saw in the in the, the the tutorial. I think it used to be that this bonus was here, but that has been changed. That's a shame. So general costs, yeah, because that's like the really good one that you would want. Okay, so maybe maybe these ones are not well. Still though, just being having a professional army is pretty good because it's like. Uh, 
gives you extra movement speed, land fire damage, and shock damage, and just makes your armies better, basically. So, chilling about here and drilling a bit is not a necessarily a bad idea, but since we yeah, are going to be having a lot of rebels, so I might want to maybe not do that and save some cash instead, because our country is going to delve into a period of nastiness. 17,000? What the fuck? Damn, we're going to have to lose a lot of points here to to deal with this. That's insane. No, well, at least it's not a pretender. Then again, maybe that would have been better. I don't know. Uh, oh, stability, please. Uh, I don't know. Regardless, I think we're going to end the episode here. So yeah, we're just sitting around doing nothing really. But, you know, that's life in Southeast Asia sometimes and in the world, I guess, in general. So yeah, thanks for watching this episode and until next time, bye.